It's time for another Paletteful Packs unboxing and artwork again. And this month's one is pretty interesting because as you can already see, we've got some Holbein colored pencils this month. So the, the pencils that I've received are Sky Blue, Rose, Cherry Blossom, Naples Yellow, Lettuce Green, Wisteria, and Cobalt Green. So these are pretty interesting because I've been hearing a lot about the Holbein colored pencils recently, but being in Canada, I just can't justify spending that much money to get them shipped to me or to use them. Even coming from the US, the prices are ridiculous, I think, um, for some colored pencils. And you know, there's some controversies on these pencils, but we're not going to touch that today. I'm just going to see, you know, as I do with any palette packs or smart art box unboxing, you know, how they perform, can we do some art with them, and can we have some fun. So that's what we're going to do. I also see that they sent us the Holbein Colored Pencil Blender Melts, and this is actually really interesting to me because this claims to be a water-based colored pencil blender, and the Holbein pencils claim to be, you know, more oil-based um, versus pencils that are wax-based, you know, stuff like that. So it's really interesting how a water-based uh, colored pencil blender would be able to blend oil or wax base. And let me know if you want to see in a future video how this works on other pencils. Like I have the Prismacolor, Caran d'Ache Luminance, uh, Derwent Lightfast. I have Faber-Castell Polychromos. So if you want to see, you know, a video kind of comparing this with those pencils and maybe how like Gamsol or Motorless, Motorless, <laughs> Mona Lisa Odorless um, Mineral Spirits blend out these pencils. Let me know. I might do a separate video on that because this just really intrigues me. But we've got that. And we've also got this aqua aquarellable, I cannot say that word, Stabilo <laughs> pencil. So this must be a water um, based pencil. Oh, it says it's on paper, glass, plastic, and metal. That's interesting. So apparently this can write on all that, but it looks like it is a water soluble. And they did give us this Princeton Select Round 4 brush in it as well. I do like it that it has a nice point. So we'll probably try this out with the Melt Splendor. Um, I might try it with this too, but we'll see. Then we've got our cute little Paletteful Pack sticker for the month. And then they've sent us these Crescent uh, Creative Products Illustration Boards. So it says they're cold pressed premium surface on rigid, bo rigid board, perfect for all pencil, colored pencil, pastel, and ink products. They're pH neutral, so that's pretty interesting. So I'm not sure if I'll try something out on this because with colored pencil, if you can imagine this big of a surface, if we're filling the whole thing in, it's going to take a long time, but I might find something where I could ju do just a little piece on it. Um, with these colors, I'm thinking something, I don't know, maybe florally would be nice. Uh, I'll have to double check to see what the prompts are for the month. Okay, so I don't always do swatches for these monthly subscription boxes, but for this one I did. So as you can see down here, this was the um, Stabilo All Pencil. And I started writing with it, but it was a little difficult to write. Um, it was actually very creamy. And then I made a mistake and started writing the word May when it, this is actually the June's box. And I tried to erase it and this does not erase. You can see it got a little bit lighter, but it will not erase completely. And this does smudge out. So I don't know if you can see that. But it does, um, like if you were to keep drawing with it, it will like smudge out some of the color. But boy, does this uh, blend out so nicely with water. So I just used a water brush here and I did a scribble like this, just a little bit bigger. And you can see like how far of a gradient I was able to drag that out to. So I like that if you needed like a really, really dark um, black or you only had one pencil and you were going to use that. Now for the Holbein Artist colored pencils, they actually laid down quite nice. Now this is the Canson XL mixed media paper and I have to say so here I did just the pencils themselves on the left and then I blended them out with the OMS or well actually it's not OMS it's called Melts and this is supposed to be a water-based blender according to Holbein. 
but for pencils that are, you know, supposed to be more oil based or something like that, it's still blended out really nicely with the melts. Now, the one thing I did notice is a little bit different between this and OMS is OMS, you can pretty much keep it in the area that you want to blend, but this just seemed to grab the pencil and pick it up and you could almost use it like watercolor because here I put down a little square swatch and I was able to blend it out quite a bit compared to like OMS. I feel like you can really, if you just want to keep it in the area that you're blending or if you're blending two colors next to each other, um, they won't really blend into each other if you do them separate. So uh, I'm going to be kind of interested tr to try this out a little bit more. So let me know if you want like a separate video comparing this um, maybe to some OMS. I have the Gamsol and the Mona Lisa Odorless Mineral Spirits. So let me know if you want to try these with the Holbein and then maybe my other pencil brands as well. But let's just get into today's artwork. So I was pretty happy with the products that we received in our box this month. Colored pencils has to be my most favorite medium that I've used. And the Holbein pencils really intrigued, intrigued me, especially the Melts product, but I wasn't about to spend an arm and a leg to buy them myself. So when I found out we were getting them in this month's box, I was super excited. Considering these pencils are so expensive, there is some controversy considering their light fastness or not. And I'll touch on that more later in this voiceover. But let's just look at the pencils themselves, how they performed, how the melts performed, and then go from there. So the pencils themselves were very creamy. They laid down very easily on this board. I only needed pretty much one good layer of them to be able to blend them out really easily. So normally when I do my colored pencil work, I'll put down, you know, three to five layers of colored pencils, blend it out with my OMS, my odorless mineral spirits, and then I'll go on top with my details, touch up any shadow areas and things like that to create the depth that I want in my piece. And I tried to achieve that same look with these pencils and I was able to. So you'll see I'm going in first with that lightest pink pencil and I'm mapping in where my light areas are going to be. And then I decided to use the purple area for my shadow areas. And so I laid that down and I'm just laying down a light to medium pressure of a layer. And then I go on top with the red and try to create my mid-tone with that color. Now the only thing I did notice with these pencils is the first color that I laid down when I went on top with other colors and tried to blend out with the melts, it almost sort of removed that second layer of color a little bit. So you'll notice when I kind of go over top of the purple areas, the purple really shines through and it lost some of that um, redness or magenta that I was getting from it. So I just had to go back and lay some more colored pencil over top and that worked just fine. But normally when I'm blending out with my OMS, the two colors sort of blend together and meld together. So I'm not sure if that was on this board because I've not used an OMS or the melt on this board before or if that was just the pencils themselves, they just don't blend like other colored pencils do. Now, I was really having a hard time getting the depth in the stock that I wanted. We only had two greens and there wasn't a huge difference between the two greens. So off on the side on a separate piece of paper, I was trying to blend the green with the red and the green with the purple, trying to get a darker version of the green. So normally if you add green and red, you'll get sort of a muted olive green because they're opposite colors. So they tone each other down and they'll add a little bit of brownness to one of the colors. But for whatever reason, these pencils just did not want to blend with one another. So when I would put the red on top of the green, it was just sort of giving me like nothing. It would sort of just wipe off the red or give me sort of like a muddier, grosser color, which was really weird. Um, so that's the only thing I have with these pencils. They just didn't seem to want to mix that well. So I ended up taking one of my Prismacolors, a darker green, and using that to create some depth in the stock. Now I'm not sure if that was just the red or the green pencil because when I was using the yellow and the pink and the red, those colors all seemed to blend really nice together. So I'm not sure if it's just certain colors that just don't want to blend together as well. 
Now you'll also see once I get everything blended out, I was still able to go over top with that red, create some details. And then I took the Polychromos White and the Prismacolor White because I just wanted to test out how each of them laid down on top. The Polychromos was a little bit less opaque because it is an oil-based pencil, um, but its lead is hard enough that I was able to create some of those white lines within the petals. And then I took the Prismacolor White pencil and just went over top of any areas that I needed a brighter white. And that worked out just fine on top of these pencils. Now I will have a video coming out comparing the melts to the OMS. I use the Gamsol OMS, but the Mona Lisa one is about the same. So I will have that comparing all my different colored pencils. So I've got uh, Polychromos, Lightfast, Luminance, and Prismacolor. So stay tuned for that video because I was actually kind of surprised with the results. Whether OMS will work with the Holbein melts or will melts work with the other colored pencils. So that video will be coming out. But now let's talk light fastness. So if you're not doing commissions or if you're not selling your artwork, you probably don't care about light fastness. But for those of you that do, there is some controversy with these colored pencils. If you guys watch Lisa from Lockery Fine Art, she got some of the Holbein colored pencils and she actually contacted them asking them if they were really light fast or not because they have star ratings, but they don't say what those star ratings are from. Are they ASTM or are they blue wool or do they use their own method? And come to find out they do use their own method and they can't share it with us but they do test for light fastness. So we don't know what that testing involves. We don't know what the star ratings are up against, you know, the polychromo star ratings or luminance or light fast, you know, those pencils, they did the testing. It's, you know, we know that we can trust those pencils are light fast and they're gonna last for years and years, you know, 50, 75, 100 years, some of those pencils. But unfortunately with the Holbein, it's just not clear whether these pencils are gonna last or not. So I don't think I'll be purchasing them in the future, purchasing more of these pencils, because I already have, you know, like I said, the Polychromos, Light Fast, Luminance, and Prismacolor. If I want Light Fast pencils, I have them, and I have a bunch of colors of them. So I'm not really sure what the whole bind's going to give me that those pencils can't give me. Now, if you don't care about Light Fastness, and maybe this is the first set of pencils that you're looking to buy, I'm not sure if I would still recommend the whole bind because they're priced right up there with light fast luminance i think they're even priced more than they are but are you getting the same quality pencil i'm not sure if you're going to be using these pencils in a coloring book or on a piece of paper that's going to stay in your sketchbook or something like that is it worth spending that much money but what I can say is I did enjoy using these pencils and I did enjoy using the melts. And as you'll see in that upcoming video, I was kind of surprised and I may be using it more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.